Do you want to be equipped to impact lives for eternity? Well, stay tuned to discover how you can gain the tools and knowledge to make a difference. My name is Jason Bradley, and you're watching Urban Report. Hello and welcome to Urban Report. My guests today are Dee and Sarah Casper. Dee is the Core Evangelism School Director and his wife is the Administrative Assistant at Core Evangelism School. Welcome to Urban Report. Good Thank to be you. here. It's great to have you guys here. Dee, you have been on Urban Report before, but there is a new edition and I know that you're super excited about that edition. That is true. Yes. I, I got rid of the mustache, but I got a wife. So I think it's it's a it's way better. I guess getting rid of the stash was was worth it, huh? I, I, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, good deal. So tell us a little bit about how you met. Yeah, of all things, it was on Instagram, which I did not okay. see coming. Uh, David Ashrick, when he was doing his DA with DA series, he was doing live streams on the Desire of Ages. Uh, she followed me and I was like, who's this? And saw she was into mental health and into discipleship. And so I did something I wouldn't normally do. I messaged her and we kind of started connecting. It turns out we were going to be in the same place like a week or two later. Okay. And so met in person there and began to kind of support and encourage each other in ministry stuff. And then, um, yeah, she felt a distinct call to take a year to just focus on God. And Yeah, I really wanted to focus on ministry and really continue to shape my knowledge and understanding of God's character. And so taking that year off was very beneficial. Um, but also in that process of fasting and praying and asking God for what was next for my life, um, God just led me to come to CORE. Yes. And so we're able to continue developing our friendship. And yeah, it was an awesome experience. At the end of CORE, we're able to decide like, hey, like we should move forward. There was previous interest. Now you've taken your time off and let's do this. So, yeah, that's yeah. really good. I love this. So what were you thinking in that moment when, when Dee was taking the next steps? I was thrilled because honestly, um, I've been in situations and relationships that were not healthy, mm -hmm. but this relationship was different. God was at the center and I just really felt like our lives were very um, kind of similar okay. and also very cohesive in terms of like how we do life, the things that we love, the things that we're passionate about. And I couldn't have asked for anyone better. So Amen. I was super excited. <laughs> Amen. Now Dee, you know, everybody wants to know how you popped the big question. Ooh. Uh, so right after ASI, like a big convention that uh, I spoke at and she sang at, um, I called some friends and said, hey, we're coming back. We're driving back north because mm -hmm. we're from Pennsylvania. And I was like, I need to ask this girl to marry me. Will you help? And so we did it at Sunset Rock in Chattanooga. Nice. And uh, around sunset. And it was like a nice rainy, like foggy day, but you could still see. And it was like everything that she would ever want. Yeah, it was perfect. Like in my mind, I love forests and fog and views. And it was literally exactly that. I was like, wow, wow. God is so good. And she was like, if he doesn't propose, he just missed a big opportunity. So <laughs> thankfully I did. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, proposed. I kind of knew she'd say yes, but I was glad. And I proposed in Spanish. Yes. And, wow. Uh, okay. Extra points for that. So, wow. yeah, it was, a, it was a big win. Well done, bro. Why, thank well you. Done. I buried the treasure and bought the field. That's biblical, y'all. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So tell us a little bit about CORE. What is yeah. CORE all about? Yeah, so CORE is basically a discipleship and evangelism training program for young adults. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have a program for any adults on top of that. So there's like a nine-month full-length program for 18 to 35-year-olds. And then we have a five month program for any adults called Track Two. And so during that time, people are learning why they believe what they believe, how to see Jesus at the heart of the Abnus message, mm -hmm. how to intelligently share that with the world around them. Uh, the whole program is designed to meet their needs as a person, to better understand the message of righteousness by faith and their identity in Christ. We deal with mental health pretty extensively. Okay. And um, they're doing lots of ministry too. So they're canvassing in the first semester, doing literature evangelism. Mm -hmm. They're Bible working in the second semester, learning how to give personal Bible studies. There's a full-length evangelistic series. And we go to a two-week mission trip where they're, um, we invest in refugees in Houston, Texas with a ministry there and also have a medical missionary component. So it's a, it's a well-rounded program yep. that ministers to the whole person and it really kind of addresses uh, a lot of root issues that people struggle with. That's awesome. You know, I've known you for a little while now, and ever since I, I first met you, you were always passionate about teaching, preaching, 
and sharing the gospel. And so now you've got CORE. How did CORE come about? And yeah. how did you get started with that? Yeah, so there was a donor back in 2018 or 17, there was a donor and a pastor who kind of had a burden to see a school of evangelism where righteousness by faith would be the, the framework that everything's built upon, mm -hmm. seeing Jesus in every teaching. And they approached me to help them start it. And so in 2018, we started a partnership with the Pennsylvania Conference and um, they've been super supportive. Uh, we're privately funded, so we're not funded by the conference. Okay. But I'm a conference employee, Sarah's a conference employee. Mm -hmm. And so it's helpful, our, our classroom is in the conference office. So that saves us some money admin wise and overhead wise so that what we do raise, because we had to fund ourselves, whatever we gotcha. do raise can go more towards the work at hand. Okay. And so um, in 2018, we started in August officially. Mm -hmm. And a, about 11 months later, we had a fully functioning school wow. that was training and discipling young people that didn't exist. There was an idea, some money and a partnership. And somehow in God's great mercy, 11 months later, we had a fully functioning school that was blessing people. Wow, and so that we're in the midst of our fourth school year now, but the fifth year of the of you know, existing on paper. That's and awesome. it's been a huge blessing. Young people's lives are being changed. Souls are being won in the conference of the work that yeah. we're doing. And uh, it's just a really rewarding work to engage in. Mm -hmm. How cool is it to work together in ministry? Oh, yeah, man. it's absolutely beautiful. And it bonds us even more because we're doing what we love and we get to do it together. Yeah. yeah, she was really passionate about discipleship. She's from the Pacific Northwest and was running the young adult program at her local church, okay. discipling her peers. And so I knew that was a big passion of hers, which. Mm -hmm. That's my job. And so I knew that we would fit together well the more that we got to know each other. And it just made sense. Philosophically, we're on the same page, too, that mental health is an important component. And mm -hmm. seeing a healthy picture of God's character, seeing a God of love and not something to be afraid of and so forth. And those things combined, it, she, just, she just fits into my life so well. It just was easy. Well, you guys look like you go together, so that's a, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a really Yay. good sign there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, for that person that's at home that's saying, well, you know, there are a lot of these evangelism schools, what differentiates CORE mm. Evangelism School? Yeah, CORE is very unique because we do have that aspect of spiritual healing and mental health. And I think that's so important for young adults mm -hmm. because others like myself um, who have known about Adventism and Christianity and the gospel often miss the part about Jesus' heart. And for me, I did not have that understanding growing up. And so being able to have those shifts and then coming to CORE and having that rooted even deeper in me was an amazing experience. We often have students that come and they're like, I don't even know what faith is. Like I always hear about faith and I think I know what it is, but when they actually dive into understanding righteousness by faith, mm -hmm. they're like, wow, I've been living my whole life doing righteousness by works mm -hmm. and I didn't even know, yeah. you know, in a faith that strongly believes like you don't earn your salvation by your works, right? Yes. So it's a beautiful thing to really see um, students have that paradigm shift mm -hmm. in their spirituality and they're so excited about it. Um, and while they're so excited about it, we're also giving them tools and skills to be able to go and share that with other people. Yeah, so it's not the typical like Bible worker factory where you come in, you learn how to kind of give the proof text, make the mm -hmm. argument and get people to make decisions. The main purpose of our program is to disciple the students. So everything is surrounded around giving the students their own personal relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's real, that's substantive, that's vibrant helping them to understand how they fit into the Adventist church. So they're spending nine months in a local church context, learning how to teach Sabbath school and, and minister to children and so forth, which no program offers. Mm -hmm. You know, they're getting training, but to learn how to integrate that and incarnate into a local church, a lot of people don't know how to do that. So we're giving our students those skill sets so that when they leave, even if they aren't a Bible worker or a pastor, they can be an active church member who's making a difference and knows how they kind of play into that bigger structure of the Adventist church. Mm -hmm. Plus mental health, having a big emphasis on that. We, we spend a lot of time teaching the students to think for themselves. We teach yes. on critical thinking. So it's not just repeat what your teacher taught, but to actually learn how to process and make your own decisions, mm -hmm. make it your own. So it's a very holistic program ministering to the needs of the students while also making significant differences evangelistically in local churches and otherwise. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love the fact that you are impacting them at the core level. Right. You know, yes. you're reaching them at the fundamental level where they have maybe a misconception about God, as you said, Sarah, mm -hmm. you know, uh, basically they're saved by works mentality, which is so contrary to what mm -hmm. the gospel is about. Right. And it's a stressful situation. Could you imagine if we were actually saved in that way? Yes. That is so stressful. And most of us think we are, and that's why there's so many things like associated with spirituality, like anxiety or depression, things like yes. that. And so we really want to give them the opportunity to heal, or if they've been hurt 
um, by the church or people in the church, mm. they have that time to really get perspective yes. and heal from that. So. Yeah. That's the other thing. Community is a big part of what we do. It's a family environment. So they're in our house a lot. We spend lots of personal time with them as instructors, learning their story, helping to deal with root issues, not just correcting behavior. Mm -hmm. um, taking that extra step and really digging deep has proved huge dividends. Our graduation is the most beautiful time of the year for us to hear the testimonies of students sharing, this is where I was when I got here and this is where I am today, finding yeah. healing and freedom and deliverance and seeing that God actually loves and accepts me and has a plan for my life. Mm -hmm. So it's a great space to figure out what God has made you for, what your calling is, how to cultivate your spiritual gifts, how to build a personal relationship with Jesus while also learning how to do ministry. So you That's, get a good ministry education, mm -hmm. but we're dealing with the root issues and the, and the core issues. That's beautiful. You're not just attacking the symptoms. Right, yes. exactly. That is great. You know, we actually have a video, an overview of what CORE is all about. And I think that we should take a look at that right now. Before I came to CORE, I knew what I believed as a Christian. But coming to CORE has actually helped me to experience what I believe. My life before CORE was really self-reliance. Like all of the things that I did, like for God, were not born out of love, but were born out of fear of a God that would like smite me at any like instance. Like I always view God as just this guy above who just sits at his throne and just kind of judge people. But he can actually relate with us. And what that means in a practical way is that I've been able to see that God isn't someone that I have to appease. It's helped me to see not just that God loves me, but how God loves me. CORE is specifically designed to empower you to own your faith experience, to go from hearing about God and learning from Him from your parents or your church or from your pastor, to personally knowing Him for yourself. And that's done through multiple lenses. They're giving personal Bible studies, they're doing literature evangelism, through cross-cultural mission trips, mental health, learning about theology and how to see Jesus at the heart of every teaching. And when all these things combine in a holistic approach, students find find a deeper and more vibrant relationship with Jesus that's theirs, no longer borrowed from the culture of the people around them. They now know why they believe what they believe and how to take that to someone else. Uh, CORE has really helped me to view God as a God who is right next to me, not someone who's far away. Faith grows through experience and through experience and outreach and really getting active instead of just having an intellectual knowledge. It showed me like how much people are hurting and it showed me like some people are really are right. They want to know more about God's word, but they're just like, they're not making any movement. So it's, it's great now that I'm able to give them a call to action and just make them realize that none of this happened coincidentally. God's precious souls are out there. Jesus would have died even if it was just for one person, and even one soul is more precious than all the riches in this world combined. We've also learned today that we don't cross eyes with one person who doesn't matter to God. And for that one reason, not only will you grow yourself, you will also disciple someone else to experience what you have experienced in your faith. Having a heart knowledge is when your life starts to transform. It really makes the Word of God alive and real. Like I really saw like many of those things that I did because I was afraid of him are actually done because of his love. And I realized that I really didn't love God because once you understand the fact that like God's love is what frees you, God's love is not something to be afraid of, but to embrace and to share it with others. It really is like something that feels freeing. Many of our young people today are struggling to actually believe that God loves and accepts them, and they're struggling to know how they fit into the Adventist Church and the Adventist message. One of the beautiful things about the CORE program is we're showing Jesus at the heart of every teaching, empowering students to find assurance of salvation, but we're also providing them a safe, healthy community to grow and to develop and strengthen their relationship with God. If God wants you to come to CORE, he will open those doors and He will show you the way.
by you dedicating these nine months to God, He will bless you, and He also has no greater joy than to bless you. He will do so many things through this time that you will not have, you wouldn't have imagined. Maybe you're struggling with understanding what God's will is for your life, and you don't know what your next step is. This is a wonderful space to commit nine months to better understand what your calling is and how you can take your next step. Core is a great opportunity to have that experience, and it's not also like something that where you like sit in a classroom and then you hear like a person talking about, oh yeah, God loves you, but also gives you like an experience through outreach of like seeing that God acting in your life. That's beautiful. You see the transformation taking place within the students. Mm -hmm. You know, that whole perception of Christ changing. That's powerful. Yeah, there was a lot going on in the video, so I'm wondering, what was, what is daily life like there? Yeah, so they have outreach on Sundays, kind of a late morning. They do like a brunch and a dinner on those days, just two okay. meals. They do outreach. Uh, it's canvassing in the first semester, mm -hmm. literature evangelism. Second semester, it's Bible work. Uh, Monday through Thursday in the mornings, they have Bible class for three hours. So there's an hour of class, 15 minute break, hour of class, another 15 minute break, and another hour of class. So it's not overwhelming. They get long breaks, it's mm -hmm. a shorter day. And then on Mondays and Wednesdays, there's outreach in the afternoon. Tuesdays and Thursdays, they do practical work on campus. Fridays, they have completely off. So that's just for them to do laundry, call family, go grocery shopping if they want to do that or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, meals are provided in the calf, whatever they want to do, go shopping or just hang out, go for hikes. And then Sabbaths, we're in church uh, in the morning, but generally in the afternoon and evening, they're, they're free to kind of have more personal time too to recoup from the week. Nice, so it's, it's pretty power packed days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. So, but we try to spread it out in a way that gives balance, right? They're not in a class all day. They're not doing outreach all day. They're not just working hard outside or in yes. the labors all day. It's kind of spread out to kind of mm -hmm. give some variety. How much does it cost to attend CORE? So for the full nine month program for 18 to 35 year olds, it's $13,000. That's okay. all of your meals, all of your lodging, the mission trip, and your class stuff all together. Mm -hmm. uh, and then for the second semester for track two that's open to all adults, that is 6,500. And again, that covers all of the, the stuff you'd have for your lodging, you have to buy any food or pay for your housing or anything like that. And it covers your, your, um, your classes and stuff too. Nice. And the canvassing that students do first semester, half of what they make goes towards their tuition. Oh, so nice. it also helps them pay for their schooling. Mm -hmm. And when someone is accepted, we give them a fundraising letter we've already written so that they can share with family, friends, church members, coworkers, whatever, mm -hmm. to help their village kind of get step in to help them meet their goals. Too. That's beautiful, because that was gonna be my next question is how do the students raise the money yeah. uh, to go to CORE? Yeah. Um, so no, that's, that's great that you have that system in place. Who is CORE for? It's largely rooted for is the full-length program for people like are in a gap year situation. Mm -hmm. So they just finished high school, want to take a year to focus on God before they take their next step. Uh, Sarah, she left her profession. So she took time away from her professional career um, to come through the program and really get a deeper root structure. So anybody in that age range, some people do it after they finish their undergrad before they go into graduate school, mm -hmm. or they just need a year to take a break from college, just burning them out. They wanna go focus on something else. Yeah. So the full length program, any of those times works. For second semester, any adult can come. Nice. So for the track two program, that's five months of Bible work experience in a series, anyone can come to that, okay. any adults. What testimonies can you share? We're really excited about all of our students' stories, really. Um, but last year, when we were working with one of our local churches, we are doing Bible work. Uh, we had this one person that kept coming to the evangelistic series over and over again. And usually, people tend to flake out and whatnot. But um, this young person kept coming every night, and we wanted to know more of his story. And he kept asking questions. And it turns out that he had gone to um, a couple years of, to the school that was next to the church as a kid. Mm -hmm. and. After that, he just went on with life, went to the military and whatnot, and um, he pretty much, you know, forgot about Adventism and whatnot. 
but um, God really brought him around again. And he had been to different churches, talked with different friends about different faiths. And he was like, no, like none of these are really right. It's not exactly what I know to be true. Mm -hmm. And so um, he started getting introduced back into Adventism. One day he was driving by the church that we were working with and he saw the sign out front saying that we were gonna have the evangelistic series put on by CORE and he decided to come every single night, night after night. And at the end of the series, he was baptized. He had a completely different picture of God. Wow. He re-encountered the gospel and Adventism and he was like, yes, like I knew this is what was right in my mm. spirit. This is what I was missing this whole time. And so after he was baptized, we continued to disciple him and he ended up coming to CORE. And what's so exciting is that this year he gets to preach those sermons that reached him last year. So Wow, that yeah, is really awesome. Praise the it. Lord. You know what I love that you just said? Is that after he was baptized, you continue to disciple him. Yes. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people get baptized and then there's a little disconnect, mm -hmm. but that continued discipleship is so important. Yes. Yeah, we yes. kept reaching out to him as a staff and some of the fellow students that, that some of our students that had ministered to him during the series, we just all kept connecting with him. I said, Dan, and Daniel, have you thought about um, doing core, like, mm -hmm. would you like to do something like that? And he was selling real estate. So like for him to just like upend his life would be kind of difficult. He was mm -hmm. like a partner in a real estate firm, but he made a decision he needed this in his life. Mm -hmm. He's paid huge dividends for it. God has really blessed him. And the fact that he gets to preach those same messages that led him to come into the Adventist church yes. uh, this next month is just so encouraging and amazing. This kind of full circle moment that that's what, that's what we're in this for, mm -hmm. yes. to disciple and empower others to make disciples. Yeah. Absolutely. What are some more other stories that you can share? Uh, there's another student who he, when he came to CORE, really didn't have assurance of salvation, kind of had that view, I got to work really hard for God to accept me. He pretty much resigned himself to the fact that he's not going to be saved, but he'll keep trying hard because maybe it'll work out. But he pretty much knew he wouldn't make it in his mind. Mm -hmm. And he was having this recurring dream of the second coming that his family would be lifted up to see Jesus and he would stay on the ground. Oh, wow. um, and that he wouldn't be able to go with them. And this kind of plagued him for a while. He went through the core program, through the classes we were teaching, the books he was reading, um, totally changed his view on righteousness by faith. It completely revolutionized his view. And he realized God loves and cares for me mm -hmm. personally. And it sweeps him off his feet. He finds assurance of salvation and he has the dream again later in the school year. And he thought, I know how this goes. And as his family is lifted up, he saw himself being lifted up with them. Wow. Like that kind of internal processing yes. you do in dreaming. Mm -hmm. He finally came to realize that God can and will save me. Amen. And now he's a missionary in Thailand, preaching to a people group that really struggles with wow. their works or what has to save them. Mm -hmm. And he's creating social media content as well, um, speaking about the gospel. It's been a beautiful and powerful story to see how God's really done this for him. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so there's many more stories like that of just yeah. young people who are giving God a chance and God exceeds their expectations and changes their lives for the better. That's beautiful because the gospel is so liberating. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, a lot of people look at it as it's, you know, oh, this is going to be bondage. No, it's freeing you yeah. from that bondage. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's incredible. I know that there are a lot of moving parts with CORE. So what are some of the needs of the organization? Sure. So as it stands right now, we're on the campus of Blue Mountain Academy okay. in Pennsylvania in partnership with the conference. It's been a beautiful relationship. It's been a huge blessing. Someday we'd love to be able to have a property and a place where we can kind of uh, build and grow the organization at large and so forth. And so that's certainly something that would be a, a nice thing to have down the road. We have a worthy student fund where people can support students to come, even if you don't want to come or don't know of anybody personally. This program that's changing young people's lives is keeping them in the church that's winning souls in the community could use their financial support to help ensure students can come yes. uh, and supporting the ministry at large. And then we need students. Mm -hmm. So 18 to 35 year olds for the full length program, the nine month one, and any adults for the track two. Uh, registration is now open. We actually have an early bird special we run each year until April 1st. So people can share, two, uh, they can save $250 if they apply by April 1st. So um, yeah, we're doing what we can to make it you know, possible for people, but those are our biggest needs. Students, uh, people to pray for this work to continue to succeed uh, and to be able to expand our borders someday and grow. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to put your contact info up so that you can share that with the public. Our viewers and listeners can find out how they can support the wonderful ministry of CORE and also uh, how students can get in touch with you for to sure. enroll. So we'll put that up if you'd read that for us. Absolutely. So it's Core Evangelism School. Our address is 2359 Mountain Road in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, 19526. 
Uh, you can call or text us at 484-232-9239. And our website lists uh, everything about the program, the costs, our handbook, who teaches, like Mark Finley and David Asherick and lots of other people teach for us. That's all on our website that says who's there. James Rafferty is another mm -hmm. one. Um, coreevangelism.com, or you can email us at info at coreevangelism.com. Nice, nice. I hope a lot of people get signed up for the program and all of that stuff. How has CORE transformed your life, Sarah? Well, it's made such a difference for my life because um, going into CORE, I realized that a lot of my value was based in the things that I did mm -hmm. um, for God or for people. And during my experience there, God really spoke to my heart and said like, hey, like this is actually what's going on. And because of the things I was learning and growing in, um, I understood like I can leave all of that behind. I can abandon all of the things that, you know, keep me in good standing in my mind with God mm -hmm. and just walk in freedom in his salvation and also in the gospel, yes. you know, being really able to internalize that made such a big difference for me. Mm -hmm. um, also the aspect of spiritual healing, I had a lot of church hurt and that's why I left the church for years. Mm -hmm. um, but coming back and being able to resolve those things um, and then go on to help other people has been such a blessing. So yes. I would 10 out of 10 recommend it to anyone. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Dee, what would you say to that person who has never tried Christ? They've never mm -hmm. thought about accepting Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. I want you to look into yeah. your camera and um, just speak to that, that individual. Yeah. Um, the beautiful news of the gospel is that it's not a matter of me proving that I'm good enough or if I work hard enough, then God will think I'm good enough. The beautiful truth of the gospel is that Jesus is good enough. Mm -hmm. And 2 Corinthians 5.21 says that God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin for us. He became whatever you've done, whatever you're struggling with, Jesus became that so that you might become the righteousness of God in Him. Jesus is willing to cover your broken, fallen life with His righteousness and He's willing to save you and do a transforming work that you never thought was possible. And so what we see year after year in our program is that when people choose to put God first and to trust Him, He exceeds their expectations. Yes. And so if you feel like, ah, oh, it just seems like too high of a cost, like what if things I can promise you that God is in the business of transforming lives, of healing people and setting them free. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says in John chapter six, that he who comes unto me, I will in no wise cast out. If you're willing to come to Jesus today, he's not gonna push you away. And uh, he is faithful and just to be willing to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of your past life, if you'll just come. Amen, just come. That's beautiful. Uh, you know, so many people think that, oh, I gotta get cleaned up. I've got to get rid of this habit. I've gotta drop this. I can't go to him until I'm perfect. Mm. When would they go to him? Never, if that's the case, right? And the beautiful news of the gospel is that Jesus is the one who transforms us. He's the one that works in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. The first thing you do is take a step and say, take my heart, take my life, and I'm trusting that you'll take care of the rest. And Amen. he does that. Faithfully. Amen. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing. Thank you as well, Sarah. Thank you for joining us. Make sure that you accept Christ into your life. You'll never regret it. Until next time, God bless you.